Okay, question one then. So if y is inversely proportional to x squared when x is bigger than zero, when x equals two, y equals 20, form an equation. So inversely proportional, y is proportional to one over x squared, or y equals kx squared, and then we just sub in y and x. So we'll end up with 20 equals k over two squared. That's 20 equals k over four, k equals 20 times 4 is 80, so your equation is y equals 80 over x squared for the first one. Okay, question 2. y is directly proportional to r squared, so that's a direct proportion of y equals k r squared. When r equals 4, y equals 24. 24 equals k times 4 squared. 24 equals k times 16. So k must be 24 over 16. They both divide by 8 to give 3 over 2. So your formula is y equals 3 over 2 r squared. And the question says, work out the value of capital R when y equals 1, 3, 1350. So 1350 equals 3 over 2 r squared. So if I double that and divide by 3, so r must be the square root of 900. So r must be 30 or minus 30. Um, mine says only the positive value. So I'm going to put the 30, but we could have also a negative 30 answer there, couldn't we? Because negative 30 times negative 30 is also a positive 900. All right, question three. This is one of the ones I said just be careful of. Y is inversely proportional to the square of x. So y is proportional to 1 over x squared. Y equals k over x squared. Then it tells us that y equals 10 when x equals 5. 10 equals k over 25, k equals 250, and in fact it's just the equation you want, y in terms of x, so y equals 250 over x squared. Here we go, question 4. So the pressure P of water leaving a cylindrical pipe is inversely proportional to the square of the radius r. So P P is inversely proportional to the square of the radius. P equals K over R squared. P equals 22.5 when R equals 2. That's 2 squared. So 22.5 times 4 equals K. That's 90. So your formula is P equals 90 over 2 squared. Find, calculate the value of R when P equals 10. So when capital P equals 10, sorry that should be an R squared on the bottom, shouldn't it? Um, when P equals 10, we've got 10 equals 90 over R squared. 10 r squared equals 90, divide by 10, r squared is 9, so r is either 3 or minus 3. But we can't have a negative 3 this time because if you think back to the start of the question, what is r? So r is the radius of the pipe. You can't have a negative radius of a pipe, so it's got to be just a positive 3. The negative wouldn't be possible. Y is directly proportional to the square of x. So y equals kx squared. Find the percentage increase in y when x is increased by 15%. So we could do this just by thinking about what would happen to our value. So we can kind of just say k is going to stay as a constant. But saying what would happen to y if x increased by 15%. So if it increased by 15%, I've now got 115% of 1.15. So if 
x increased by 15%, we'd now get in there 1.15x squared, wouldn't we? So if I do 1.15 squared, it gives me 1.3225kx squared. So what has y increased by? What percentage increases y? And the, the y here is increased by 32.25%, hasn't it, from our 100%.